All right, so in today's tutorial, we're going to model uh, Shanghai World Financial Center. Uh, this is a project located in uh, Shanghai and uh, it was designed by uh, Con Pedersen Fox Architects from America. And uh, I wanted to show you uh, because we already modeled Taipei 101 before. So now I thought that it would be interesting to show you how we can model uh, the Shanghai Tower. And uh, uh, one of the interesting things here that we can explore is how to, to actually create this, this uh, curve from the side and how we can uh, incorporate all the windows and uh, all the details here on the top. So uh, let's get started. First, I'm going to import this image here in the top view. And I'm going to uh, actually divide it. I'm going to split it in two. So I'm going to do split. And now I have two of these. So the next thing would be to actually cut them here somewhere around the around the base. So we have the same height. And now I'll go to the perspective and let's bring these guys up. So I'm going to just type here 90 and let's uh, bring them to zero like so. And now I'm going to rotate this guy 90 degrees like this. So now we know that uh, this will be actually here in the middle. So let's put it there, around there. So the easiest thing that um, the easiest way to model this is by uh, going to the uh, side views and then uh, drawing those lines. First, I'm going to lock, lock them. So let's first go to the side view and I'm going to just draw a rectangle here on top. Like this. Okay. Let's say that I'm happy with this. I'm going to scale it a little bit more here. And I'm also going to draw this shape. So I'm going to do two lines here. I'm going to do one line there. And I'm going to mirror it from the top like so. And then let's trim it. And now I have this, this hole there. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make this planar surface. I'm going to go to the perspective. Let's change it to shaded view. And uh, as you can see, now I can, I can actually extrude this guy like so. So I'll just do this on both sides, as you can see. And uh, now let's go to the other side and let's start drawing uh, this shape from the, from the bottom. So I'm going to first draw these two lines that are going to be straight like this. And then we're going to move and start from here somewhere. And we're going to slowly follow the, the, the edge of the building. And then we're going to finish there. And now let's create one reference line here and let's mirror this guy like so. And here we can close it off. I'm going to do uh, one more line on the bottom. And I'm going to do curve boolean like this. And uh, I'm going to say to my girlfriend not to wash the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now once we have this, uh, this side, side line, we can uh, actually try to draw um, a base plan. So first I'm going to create a rectangle here. I'm holding shift to have the, the square option ready. And I'm going to rotate this by 45 degrees. I'm going to move it here on the edge and I'm going to scale it so it catches the, the side here. So <clears throat> once we have this base plan, I'm going to move it in the middle 
and I'm just going to extrude it now upward and do the boolean split and I can delete the rest and we are left with this kind of shape and the last thing would be to actually uh, move this one in this direction as well and do boolean split again and that's it you already have the the geometry ready and the last thing we, we want to do is let's unlock this let's hide these guys and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of detailing here so I'll probably create this edge here and also on the other side like this and once we have these guys we can also extrude them down do the boolean split and now we can get rid of them like this uh, and if we take a look at uh, the image you can see that this is actually extruded inward so we can use this uh, as a reference here so uh, let's take only this part let's do duplicate border and now we can do offset uh, curve on surface we're gonna select this as a base surface we're gonna say we're gonna flip it to go inward and let's say a distance of 0 0.1 it's too big let's do it again let's do uh, 0 0.01 and this should be more uh, more like something that we want but let's do one more offset curve on surface again let's bring it in and let's do 0 0.01 and once we have this guy we can actually extend it like this and let's create the extrusion Let's do boolean split again and now we have this guy inside so what we can do here is use the solid points on and basically move it inward let's say okay minus 0 0.02 okay and we'll do the same thing on the other one like this and then we can do the same thing on the top minus 0 0.02 and now we have this nice uh, extrusion there like we have here and the last thing I want to show you is how to create you see this extrusion here on the surface that's going all the way down so the best way to create this kind of shape is uh, we can actually use the same type of command uh, but before that let me show you another trick you can hold ctrl and shift and select these edges and now you, don't, now you know that you selected them you say duplicate edge and then you can join them and once you join them you can go offset curve on surface and you can say I want to offset in this direction and the distance would be 0.03 let's bring more uh, 0.07 and this would be enough so now uh, I will just uh, use the split tool so I'm gonna say actually first I'm gonna extract the surface this one and I'm gonna do the split so I'm gonna say split this surface with this curve once I have this guide ready I'm gonna do offset uh, offset surface and I'm gonna say distance of 0 0.05 let's see what happens there you go so we got the same effect as here and now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna mirror this on the opposite side because it's the same same geometry and uh, that would be it uh, last thing I'm gonna do I'm just gonna create some 
some um, curves here for the floors and then we'll render this guy and I'll show you the final result. So this is the final rendering, hope that you like it. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to share and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon uh, on YouTube. And if you know somebody who can benefit from these tutorials, please share uh, with them. And until the next time, see you and take care.